We wanted to change the name from Regent Street to Regent Street St James's to stamp our view that this is very much at the heart of the St James's area and what better way to do it than changing the street name. This part of Regent Street was often known as, as Lower Regent Street. We looked in the records, it was never officially called Lower Regent Street. It's very rare in, in the history of Westminster to change the street name, but here is an exception because of the changes that are happening here. We've introduced some wonderful restaurants over the last two or three years. So we've got Volandry, Angela Harness, Cafe Murano. For St James's Market, we're creating over a quarter of a million square feet of wonderful new accommodation, a mixture of retail offices and restaurants. as part of our ongoing programme of refining and enhancing St James's. There's a whole block of this area between Haymarket and Regent Street St James's, which is unknown to most people. And that is all now being changed by the Crown Estate's £500 million investment. I hope John Nash would look at um, the, the thought and the longer term view that we're taking with Waterloo Place and Regent Street St James's with pride. We're lifting up what are beautiful historic buildings, making them relevant for the 21st century and giving them a sustainable future. And I think he would be proud of that.